Here we go, we're gonna begin with a warm up with just air squats, squatting down and up, getting our blood flowing. It's important to be warmed up before engaging in any kind of exercise to minimize injury and also get that blood flowing. Let's do a few more. Incredible. Now on this next one, hold it and we're gonna turn it right into a chair pose. Reach those arms up, bring your arms up so ideally your arms are right next to your ears. Let's bring your feet a little closer together. Touch your palms together, bring them over your chest and hook your right elbow over your left knee for a chair twist. Bring it back to your chair pose with your arms up and those arms by your ears. Looking fantastic. Hands back over your chest, hook your left elbow over your right knee. Let's bring it back to your chair pose with your arms up. And now drop your hands straight down, straighten your legs. You're gonna plant your hands down and step right back into a downward facing dog. Spread your fingers out wide, push up and back in your down dog. Let's bend your right knee, keep your left leg straight so you stretch that calf. Go ahead and switch legs. Both legs straight. Now shift your weight forward into a plank, the top of a push-up. If you need to set your knees down, you can. Otherwise, let's get five push-ups on your own. Go. Absolutely beautiful. When you hit number five, slide back to your downward facing dog. Go ahead and set both knees down. Extend your right leg straight out behind you. Extend your left hand straight in front of you into a sunbird pose. Absolutely gorgeous, looking perfect. Hand down, leg down, switch sides. Bring your hand down, bring your leg down, step back into your plank, the top of a push-up. Let's get five more push-ups on your own, go. Another downward facing dog when you hit that number five. Step or hop your feet forward back into that chair pose. Arms by your ears and we're breathing. Always remember to breathe. That body might be warming up a little bit now. Deliver that oxygen to those working muscles. Drop your hands down, straighten your legs, separate your feet about hip width apart. Start to roll your body up to a standing position. Once you stand all the way up, reach those hands up as high as you can. Lean over to the right. Reach your hands up, lean over to the left. Reach your hands all the way up, drop your arms to your sides. Interlock your hands behind you, pull your shoulder blades together, and then pull them down away from your ears so that you're standing up tall. Absolutely perfect. Bring your hands together over your chest in a prayer position. We're gonna take two breaths. Inhale in. Exhale, let everything soften and relax. And we're gonna do it one more time. Inhale in. Exhale, and let it go. Let's begin holding a chair pose. This is gonna be the most rocking leg workout that you've ever done. Get ready to feel that burn. Let's sink a little deeper in our chair pose. And now let's do five little mini squats, pulses. Excellent. Okay, step back with your right leg into a crescent pose. Bring those arms up high. Bring your arms to your sides. Let's do five stationary lunges.
hold that crescent pose, straighten that back leg, reach those hands back up. Touch your palms together, bring them over your chest, and let's hook that right elbow over that left knee. Bring it back to your crescent pose, arms up. Step your feet together back into that chair pose. Hold that chair and then step back with your left leg into another crescent pose. Bring your arms to your sides. Five stationary lunges. Hold that crescent pose, straighten that back leg. Reach those hands up. Touch your palms together, slide them back over your chest, hook your left elbow over that right knee. Bring it back to your crescent pose, arms up, step your feet together for another chair pose. Let's do five pulses here. Hold that chair, step back with your right foot, drop that foot sideways and open it up into a warrior two. Front palm up, drop your back hand to your back leg, reach up and back for a reverse warrior. Bring it back to your warrior two. Now you're gonna reach out over that front leg and rise right up into a half moon. Try to lock that left knee out if you can. Lift that back leg as high as you can. Now gently step back into your warrior two. And then you're gonna swing your back arm forward and step right back into a chair pose. Same thing on the other side. Step back with that left leg into a warrior two. Turn your front palm up. Drop your back hand to your back leg as you reach up and back and you reverse warrior. Let's bring it back to your warrior two. Reach out over that front leg and rise up into your half moon. Try to lock that right knee out if you can. Lift that back leg. Step right back into your warrior two, hold it. Let's step your feet together, come back into that chair pose with those arms up, bring those arms by your ears. Let's do five more pulses. And on that fifth one, sink down as low as you can. Pick those arms up as high as you can. Let's take a couple breaths here. Drop both hands straight down, straighten your legs, separate your feet, hip width apart. Slowly roll your body up. Reach your hands up. Touch your palms together. Slide your hands over your chest. Let's take two breaths. Inhale in. Exhale, let it go. One more time. Inhale in. Let it go. Get ready for the ultimate upper body workout. Reach your hands all the way up. Take a big inhale in. Exhale, dive your body down into a forward fold. Walk your hands forward, step your feet back into a plank. Let's get five push-ups. Go. Looking amazing. Slide back to your downward facing dog. Pick your right leg up in the air. As best as you can, touch your right knee to your right elbow. Try to hold it. Incredible. Lift that leg all the way up. 
Bring that same knee across to your left elbow, hold it. Lift that leg up. Bring that same knee to your forehead, as close to your forehead as you can get. Lift that leg all the way up. Step your feet together. Pick your left leg up in the air. Now bring your left knee to your left elbow. Try to touch it. Lift that leg up in the air. Bring that same knee across to your opposite elbow. Try to touch it. Lift that leg up in the air. Bring that knee to your forehead this time. Lift that leg all the way up. Step your feet together. Shift your weight forward into another plank. Let's knock out five more push-ups. Go. As soon as you hit number five, slide back to your downward facing dog. Shift your weight back into another plank. Let's do climbers. 20 seconds of climbers, each knee to each elbow. Beautiful, hold your plank. Let's do five more push-ups, go. Hold your plank, slide back to a downward facing dog. Amazing. Let's bring it back into a plank. This time is horizontal jacks. You're hopping your feet out to the side and back together. Hold your plank. You're doing fantastic. Back to your downward facing dog. Amazing. Back into a plank. This time separate your feet hip width apart. Let's roll onto your right side for a side plank. You can drop your feet sideways or stack your feet if you can. That's amazing too. Roll back to the front. Roll right over to the left side. Same thing, a side plank on that side. Back to the center, back into your plank. Final five push-ups. Let's get it. Downward facing dog. Up and back you go. Let's hop our feet forward into a chair pose. Drop your hands straight down, straighten your legs, separate your feet, hip width apart. Roll your body up. Reach your hands up. Drop your arms to your sides, interlock your hands behind you, open your chest. Hands over your chest in a prayer position. Two breaths, inhale in, let it go. One more time. Let it go. Let's get our heart rate up with some cardio. All right, girls, let's get started. We're gonna do something called a starfish. Ready? Gonna have our legs out. We're gonna jump. We're gonna count to 10. One, two, three. Really good, guys. Four, five, almost there. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10. We're gonna move on. This time we're gonna do butt kickers. Really easy, guys, getting the heart rate. Do you guys feel it? You're looking good. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna do skiers. We're gonna reach our, our left arm to our right and then jump to the next. Good job. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Next exercise is we're gonna be running in place, pretending you have a jump rope. Really good, girls. You're doing amazing. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Looking good. Three, two, one. We're gonna go back to starfish. One, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're working back on our butt kickers. You're doing great. Five, four, three, two, one. Skiers, starting on our right side, switch. Four, three, two, one. Run in place. Really good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have one more set of starfish. Last set, girls. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Looking good. Four, three, two, one. Butt kickers. Remember, it's our last set of this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And now we're going to be doing your skiers. Start with your left hand to your right. One. Eight, nine, ten. Last exercise. And we are doing jump roping in place. Ten, nine, eight. Give it your all. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And that's a wrap. Woo! Good job, everyone. I'm so proud of you all. You killed it. Here we go, we're combining both the upper and the lower body. Let's squat down into a chair pose, hold our chair, take a couple breaths here. Drop your hands down, straighten your legs. Let's walk your hands forward, step your feet back into a plank. Incredible. We're gonna lower your body all the way down to the ground. Arch your body up into an up dog. Let's hold it right here. Bring your shoulder blades back and together. Open that chest and then tuck your toes and push back into a downward facing dog. Pick your right leg up in the air. Step that leg in between your hands. Drop your back foot sideways and bring both hands straight up into a warrior one. Now interlock your hands behind you. Pull your shoulder blades together, pull them down away from your ears. Take a big inhale in. And as you exhale, dive your body down to the inside of that leg and lift your hands up as high as you can get for a humble warrior. Now use your core strength, rise back up into your warrior one, reach those hands up, open your body up, to a warrior two. You're gonna reach out over that front leg and come right up into a half moon pose. Try to lift that back leg a little higher. Try to lock that knee out if you can. Let's bring your left hand down to the ground. Keep your left hand down and pick your right hand up for a twisting. Bring your hand back down. Lift your back leg now as much as you can. Lift. Relax your head and neck and keep lifting that leg up. Start to bend that knee. Step back to your plank. Hold that plank. Let's take it through another vinyasa. Lower your body all the way down. Arch your body up. Take a big inhale in here. And as you exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Now pick your left leg up. Big step through, step it in between your hands. Drop your back foot sideways. Come up to your warrior 
one. Interlock those hands behind you, shoulder blades together, open your chest, take a big inhale in, exhale, dive your body down, lift your hands up, let your head and neck relax, lift those hands. Use your core strength, come back up to your warrior one. Open your body up to a warrior two. Let's reach out over that front leg and come up into a half moon. Bring your right hand down to the ground. Keep your right hand down. Take your left hand up, twist. Bring your top hand back down. Now lift that back leg as much as you can. Lift it all the way up. downward facing dog. Let's hop our feet into a chair pose. Drop your hands down, straighten your legs, separate your feet, hip width apart. And now one vertebrae at a time, roll your body up. Reach your hands up as high as you can. Interlock your hands behind you, shoulder blades together. Pull those shoulders down away from your ears. And now bring your hands together in a prayer position. Let's do two breaths. Inhale in. Let it go. One more time. Inhale in. Let it go. All right, we're gonna begin in a bow pose. Balance on your butt, pick your arms up and bring your arms right along the sides of your legs. Awesome, incredibly strong abs here. Let's deepen it a little bit more. Let's straighten our legs. Fantastic. Go ahead and bend those knees. Now pick your arms straight up. Oh, no problem here. Bring your arms back along the sides of your legs, straighten those legs. Now pick both arms up. Oh, that's amazing. Bring your arms back along the sides of your body, set your elbows down, and let's scissor your legs up and down. Good, always remember to breathe. Even though you think you're working your abs, you can still breathe. And if you don't know how, keep practicing. Keep scissoring your legs up and down, set your upper body down, bring your hands to your head, and transition this into bicycle twists, touching each elbow to each knee. Now you're gonna hold your right elbow to your left knee. Lift and lower that right leg up and down. You feel it. And switch it's sides, right. same exact thing on the other side. Try to touch that knee right. to your you elbow as you lift and lower that leg up and down. It's all right. you feel it. Set your body free. Set both feet down, let's do some basic crunches. Feet on the ground. Straighten your right leg out and we're gonna lift that right leg as you crunch. And switch legs, same thing on the other one. Lift and lower that leg as you crunch.
Okay, step your feet together. Let's turn onto our right side into a side plank on our elbows. You can stack your feet, bring your left hand to your hip. If you need to set your knees down and do a side plank on your knees, this is totally fine as well. Otherwise, straight up, let's hold this plank. And now let's lower our hips down and lift it back up five times. Hold the fifth and just hold. It's fantastic. Let's roll to the other side. Same exact thing we did on that side. Now on your left side, first hold that plank. Stack your feet, whatever the best way possible is for you. Now lift and lower five times. Hold it on the fifth. Absolutely amazing. Let's roll right to the front for a plank on your stomach, but you're gonna hold it on your elbows and toes now. Let's make this a little bit more challenging. Hover your right foot a few inches off of the mat. Beautiful. Switch feet. Step your feet together for 10 more seconds holding that plank. Keep those abs flexed. Set your knees down. Let's turn on your back one more time. We're gonna finish off our abs now. Bring your hands to your head. Straighten both legs up in the air. Crunch up and down towards your legs. Last little bit here. Lower your right leg halfway, crunch towards that V. Switch legs. Bring both the knees into your chest, hug them into your chest. Let's rock forward and backward until you bring it back up into a boat pose. Bend those knees, set your feet down, set your arms down. That was absolutely fantastic, great ab workout. We're on to one of our most important muscles right now, the booty. Let's go to our hands and knees, extend your right leg straight out behind you, and you're gonna lift and lower from your booty, from your glute. Think about it, think about isolating that glute to lift and lower that leg straight up and down. That's incredible. Now let's transition this into fire hydrants. So it's that knee now going straight out to the side. Try to keep your body completely stable as you move that leg out to the side and we really isolate that glute. Okay, transition this into heel presses. Now you're just pressing with that heel straight up as if you're trying to push the ceiling away from you. We don't realize how important our glutes are. We end up sitting down all the time and our glutes go flat and get turned off. But it's an important part of feeling good and also looking good. Okay, bring that leg down. Now it's the left leg straight out. Let's lift and lower that left leg straight up and down from your glute only, from that booty only. Now bring that leg in, fire hydrants out to the side. Try to keep that body completely stable. Transition this into heel presses. Press that ceiling. Press that ceiling. Think about and try to isolate your glute. Okay, we're looking so strong here. Bring that leg back in. We're gonna take this to the next level. Lift your knees slightly off, a couple inches off of the ground. 
Now extend that right leg straight out again and lift and lower that right leg up and down. Good, beautiful. Once again, just isolating that glute. Think about only the booty. Okay, fire hydrants out to the side. Absolutely phenomenal. And heel presses now, press that ceiling. Press it away. Push, push with that glute. Incredible. Okay, we're gonna switch legs now. Same thing with the left, that left leg straight out. Those glutes might be burning, mine are. Fantastic, looking so strong. Fire hydrants out to the side. Heel presses straight up, press that ceiling away. Press it away. So phenomenal. Okay, set your feet down, knees down. Let's turn on to our backs. On to our backs. Drop your arms straight along the sides of your body. Point your right leg straight up in the air. Now it's single leg hip thrusts. You're really just using that left glute to lift and lower. If you're feeling this in your hamstring or your low back, you're going too high. You only have to do a slight lift off to activate that booty. But let's make sure we get a nice burn going on. It's the burn you have to get to to make the magic happen. Switch legs. Left leg straight up. Now bring your feet together. Let's do double hip thrusts. I want you to touch your palms together above you in a prayer position, but straighten those arms all the way up. Now squeeze those glutes as you lift and lower. So both together. Good, now just drop your arms along the sides of your body, lift your hips all the way up. I want you to interlock your hands below you now and hold a bridge. You can step up on your shoulder blades if you can, lift it up as high as you can. Keep those booties flexed. Release your hands, lower your hips down, bring both knees into your chest. Little rocks left and right first. Stretch out those backs and booties, and then you're gonna rock forward and backward until you sit all the way up, and let's cross our legs in. All right, well, we've worked the body a lot. Now we need to work on some hip openers. So let's start in a cross-legged position. If you can stack your legs on top of each other, that's great. Uh, otherwise, just keeping them in front of you is fine. If you have knee issues, you can always bring them in front of you. Here we go, reach your hands up, take a big inhale in, and then exhale forward fold over your legs. When your hands touch the ground, walk them forward. With every exhale, visualize opening and lengthening a little bit more and relaxing. Walk your hands back up, straighten those legs out, shake those knees out. Now we're gonna cross the opposite leg in, cross the other one on top if you stacked it on top with the other one or in front. Reach your hands back up, take a big inhale in, exhale forward fold when your hands touch the ground, walk them forward.
walk your hands back up. Straighten those legs out. Let's take them as wide as you can. Take your left hand, bring it across to your right foot. Reach for that foot. Walk your hands to the other side. So your right hand to that left foot. Let's walk our hands down the middle. Walk them as far down the middle as you can get. You can always use the ground or your fingers to pull yourself forward. Walk your hands back up. We're gonna turn over to our hands and knees. Tuck your toes, push into a downward facing dog. Now you're gonna bring your right leg forward. Try to keep your right knee to the right side of your mat. Bring it across your mat, across your body into a pigeon pose. Now, depending on how open your hips are will determine how low you can go. Start in an upright position and when your hips open and relax, you can lower yourself down maybe to your elbows. And if your hips are really open, you can flatten your body out and walk your hands forward. Always breathing, always relaxing. If you feel the tension creep back in, exhale it out and let it go. Now we're going to gently start to walk your hands back up. Let's lift our upper body up first. Let's lift that back knee off the ground and step back to your plank. Push back to your down dog in between. And now bring your left leg forward. Same exact thing. You want that left knee on the left side of your mat. Start in an upright position. And as you relax, you can lower yourself down. Take it to the point of whatever feels right for you. We're going to gently start to come back up out of it. Come up to your palms first. We lift that upper body. We lift that back knee off the ground and then we step back. Push back to your downward facing dog. Let's walk your feet to your hands or your hands to your feet so you're back in a forward fold. Roll your body up to a standing position. Let's reach those hands all the way up. Touch your palms together, slide them over your chest and now step your feet out wider than your mat. Turn your feet outward, turn your knees outward and bring your body down into a squatting Buddha. As you lower down, use your glutes to open these hips out to the side. Sink a little deeper. Now let's use our arms to push against those legs and open them up. Maybe drop your hips a little bit more. Let's bring your hands straight down to the ground, straighten your legs and turn your heels outward so we're in a wide-legged forward fold. Walk your hands to the right leg, hang out over that right leg. Walk your hands to the left. Walk your hands back to the center. Plant your left hand down in the center and I want you to open your right hand up to the side. Rotate your head up to the right to try to look up at that hand. Sweet. 
switch sides. gonna roll your body up now when you're standing up step your feet back onto your mat Let's inhale your hands all the way up and then exhale your palms together and over your chest let's take two breaths inhale in 